All right, talking high school sports. He's Eric Rube, the high school sports reporter for the Providence Journal. Thanks for coming in, Rube. Thanks for having me in here. How are we doing? Oh, I'm a little nervous, but that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're going to up-to-date us uh, all the goings-on right now throughout the state in high school basketball. Let's start in D1. Uh, Hendrickin, NK, and LaSalle, probably the favorites in D1. What have you seen so far uh, with the top-notch of high school hoops so far? Well, I don't think Division One is much of a surprise with, with who we have on top. Yeah. Hendrickin, strong as they always are. Last year, North Kingstown won the title. They've got Clay Brochu back. It's not a surprise mm -hmm. to see them in there. And, you know, Mount Pleasant's kind of squeaking in there, too, now. They've got a really well-balanced team. LaSalle is one of those teams that I really, really like. They've okay. got a star with Jake Bender. They've got great role pieces. They've got a leader in Nate Lucier who's one of those kids. You the just quarterback. The quarterback. He just comes How's in. How's his game in, uh, on the court? He's, he's solid up and down, but he's one of those kids you want on your team because when it, when it times tough, he's the one who's going to help you get over that hump, get you through that adversity, and take you deeper. They've got a nice young balance, too. It's, the, it's an interesting top four, and I think that's, those are the kind of teams we're looking to in Division One. How cool is it that NK, as a public school, competing not only in football but in basketball with the Hendrickins and LaSalle? Well, I, I'm more amazed at how they're doing it this year, where last year they were really deep, really loaded. This year they don't have the depth, but the program is so strong now. Mm -hmm. Aaron Thomas has done a really good job where they've had kids come up through the program from middle school, through yeah. the freshmen, through JV. And those kids who were playing this year were kids who were on the bench last year. So they have, they've right. had no problem just coming in and, and getting the job done for this team. Yeah, Don Coyne told me about five years ago that you wait till my <laughs> sons in high school, well, they're going to be Jeff's, really good. Jeff's not a bad yeah. little player, really good defensive player. One of those kids they're going to need come tournament time. All right, what's going on in Division Two? Division Two is wild. Just okay. an absolute mess of a division because from top to bottom, it's so strong. You've got teams that have really good individual superstars. You look at Shea with Erickson Bands. Mm -hmm. Nobody in the state wants to play that team right. because Erickson can go for 60 and beat you on any night. points and counting. Absolutely. you got Tyreek Weeks over at Pilgrim. This kid, Levi, by King from Charaho has come out of nowhere and he's getting you 25 and 20 almost every night it seems. All right, as for girls hoops, uh, who should everyone be keeping an eye out to be the leader in the well, it's, clubhouse? It's the same names. Yeah. It's LaSalle, they're strong. South Kingstown, just as strong. St. Raphael has been playing awesome this year. They took an early season loss um, with Amaya Dowdy, Tatum Forbes have really been leading that team. They're playing really good basketball right now. The teams I think people need to watch, and no one really pays attention because it's D2, is Classical and Situate. Classical's got Nina Carlin. Uh, Situate has Madison Medbury. They're the best two guards in the state. Okay. With the way they lead those teams, the way they press, the way they attack, it's another case where I could see one of those D2 teams getting to the Final Four, getting into that state championship game. Do you know every player in the state? It's, it's amazing how many kids' names I actually remember. But then the funny part is, <laughs> I bumped into kids like out in public, and they're like, oh, hey. And I'm like, I have no idea who you are right, because right. It's, I know the names. I know the jersey numbers, but once the jersey numbers are gone, I, it's, yeah. I'm clueless. All right, Eric Rue, Providence Journal, talking high school hoops. Uh, we'll see you back here uh, in a little bit, but thanks so much for joining us. All right, fun.